What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. In this episode, uh, we've managed to take back the city of Yalgava, but I want to keep pushing to take St. Petersburg because the Prussians look like they're on the offensive. So uh, I want to make sure I get the territory I want to capture from this as well. And we are also uh, going absolutely wild on upgrading as much of the economic infrastructure we can as we can in Europe. These guys are marching on to Mexico, so I'm, they're mostly militia. So my artillery and you know my, I'm mostly militia, but my limited infantry I've got will tip the balance. We are slowly chipping away at the recruitment costs of this force down here at Cayenne. I'll probably build a new general down here for them. Then they can sail and go hit Martinique, knock the French out of the region as well. And we also need to replenish this army maybe have them hit Mexico but first we have to hit it hit end turn because we have no money so they go unite the United Provinces so they've taken oh sorry I thought Amsterdam rebelled but they didn't the Prussians are going to engage the Russians and be repulsed if they lose Warsaw that would be incredibly useful for us because then we could try and swoop in and capture it We must be wary of the Prussians, because they could at, at any point cancel our alliance. Especially if they do what that guy's done and shoot straight up the middle. Very well. Looks like Ru Prussia can't uh, maintain security of their territory. Workers have rioted in Courland and that's chilled them out. Okay, the problem is, which way are these guys going to go? East or west? I might send these guys south just to immediately just auto-resolve, kill them. Because they're, they're very depleted. Blip. Back you go. And that was a terrible idea, because I've got a feeling Colin's going to rebel now. I think they absolutely are going to rebel. Terrible decision. Because they routed this turn, even though they went to zero... They didn't have a turn of not rebelling. That's what's going to happen, I think. Yalgava's going to rebel, in which case then tax him. But what that did teach me is I need to keep my... Keep the recruitment in my other regions strong. So Yalgava's going to rout again because I was, I was dumb. Carry on with our economic upgrades. Actually, let's hop back to Europe. There we go. Let's spend lots of money in London first because London produces is our strongest performing town by a country mile. So the more we can boost our income and our growth there, the better. Minus two to zero when seeking converts in the Americas. What are the odds that that guy's in the Americas? He's in Florida. Okay. Try convert. Obey. New Orleans. He's so bad he doesn't actually do anything. In which case then, you are going to become a spy. Election results. Let's check our ministers. So they're all really good except for the Navy, the Army and the Americas could be better but because they're four stars I'm inclined to leave them because that means we're at least getting a bonus rather than risking. There's only one guy over here that seems like he would be useful. So I don't want to chance it. George Wade. Let's hit end turn. Ooh, yes, let's clear out Santa Fe of new Spaniard swine. And then this army will, once they've stabilized the region, they'll turn southeast towards, uh, towards Texas, where they will wait on the border for reinforcements. OK, 
Okay, so field artillery are going to trundle up onto this point and begin to engage. Our howitzers are going to fire from the rear. Our militia are going to take up the right flank. Our line infantry, including our Hessian grenadiers, are going to be on the left. They're each going to be supported by a pike unit. Our cavalry is going to push up the right. go. You guys run because you can get some flanking shots on the militia there. We, there are bowmen hidden somewhere. They haven't appeared on the map yet. My pikemen are going to be sent to clear out the native militia, or the, the regular, the colonial militia, not the native militia. Get my pikes to continue on the flank. My guns are in position so they can unlimber. New men rotate to engage the militia there. You guys march forward. So your gunners need to provide support. You guys hold fire because the militia will take care of them. Yeah, they, they have taken a, a volley. Native Bowman Auxiliary. Well, there's one unit anyway. Large collapse of militia on the right flank, so let's keep this push moving up. Deploy my dragoons to make sure those militia don't come back. Pokemon are losing that fight. In you get. Almost all of their militias collapsed. So the best you can do is to, is to try and shatter as many of them as possible. They're shattered, so the 4th Regiment shattered, the 15th Regiment can be shattered. Okay, you guys need to push up. Yeah, just swarm straight on into the militia, field artillery engage the general. To be honest, they can all engage the general. I mean, the edge of the battlefield can't be too far away, but they're all shattered, so they aren't coming back. We're opening up on the mortar garrison. Come on, Irish volunteers. You can fire by rank. I know you can. Oh god. That's where they've all come from. Hit the militia as well. Okay. 
you men hit the artillery position. You guys push out next to it. Yeah, they routed one of our guys with bow fire. But it will be the last. back up into the main fight and slam into the back of this pack of infantry. Actually, you know, you guys intercept the general's bodyguard. It looks like we're going to be okay. You men hit this unit of native bowmen auxiliary in the rear. There we go. Broken. So all that's left is this general's bodyguard. It's been intercepted by my dragoons, who have yet to lose a man in this action. Okay, all of you Sans pikemen, get up here, ready to hit the colonial line. I would really like to kill the general, but. You don't really need to kill the general in these sorts of siege battles. I mean, you could imagine that you've taken them into you've taken them into custody and they're now prisoners of yours. But so you may lose my f first man. The general's been killed. We may lose our first man with this cavalry charge. Although actually, they have routed. Poor devils. But the field is ours. So New Mexico is part of the British Empire. It's going to be frustrating that Colin rebels. I mean, they, w they definitely will because they wouldn't have gone down to zero prior. So yeah, that's consider that. Ooh, I might we get the Turkish Republic. Republic of Turkey. There we go. No longer the Ottoman Empire. That's pretty cool. But uh -oh. the Russians are here. Are they going to go and try and do something sneaky against me? They are. That's why I have a home fleet, you fools. Rebel, rebel, rebel. That's all you can do. The Marathas are coming. So that army that was to the south, that's in Jamaica. New men replenish. I should pick up some two units of West India Company. Port located in Greenwich. Kablamo. Yeah, I'll take the fourth rate into service. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Oh, okay, right. So swap you two for you two. Take the fifth rate that I just dumped into this fleet. Was it not? Okay, it was two fifth rates. We'll take the two fifth rates and the fourth rate. Go up to Newcastle for repairs. You guys join the fleet. You guys... Replenish as well. Two second rates to join HMS Victory. No, not Admiral's flagship. 
A second and two thirds will do. Hey, they didn't. Oh, they, they rebelled, but the rebels are there. I'm an idiot. Just auto the rebels. I mean, the Russian rebels, well, the Russian rebels, the Russian raiders, just a handful of guys. See, men replenish, let's rebuild some bits and bobs. Okay, let's get two engineers for them, get two line infantry at Vilnius, then that's everyone. To be honest, actually. Could I send you guys over to your Gava? I can, and that'll chill you out. And maybe march you over here. I mean, I'd like... Well, let's move some more men over to Vilnius because it looks like the Russians are coming. Anything more? I don't know if they're going to get here in one turn. But if I march you that direction, I could try and risk a straight shot to Moscow afterwards. There we go. Royal British Grenadier Guards. Rifleman's Royal Brigade. There we go. So they are... She was it was royal, wasn't it? To quickly, yes, it was good. <laughs> Just wanted to check to make sure it wasn't loyal. Um, okay, so that's a pretty, pretty awesome army. Swiss pikes might be not be a bad idea. See now we have no money <laughs> to repair New Mexico, but at least they are now growing. The enlightenment of the British Empire is huge, and somewhere there is another Maratha army. So let's hit end turn and see where they pop up. I can go no further. Let me rest. Let me rest. No, you have the God's work to do, son. Does God rest? I mean, he did on the seventh day. That's pretty well known. But apart from that one time. Ah, see, as soon as you move the fleet away. Sorry, small fleet. Man, yeah, they lost four ships. Uh-oh. <laughs> to say, if they don't... Oh, they haven't chased them down. How odd. Hey, if the Russians go for Minsk, then my army here might have that straight shot to Moscow. Obviously we now have the Ottoman Republic. That's pretty cool. I do like seeing regime changes in this game. It happens so rarely so you don't really feel like you can uh, enjoy it quite so easily. It's quite as often as you as you might like. Like usually, well, we've had we've had a uh, the Russians turn republic in one of my other campaigns, and now we've got the Turkish becoming a republic as well. We've got citizenship. Okay. In which case, then let's. It would be a shame if we raided your port. To be honest, if I'm going to do this as like a raiding mechanic, I'd be better off building sloops. Because sloops are easy and cheap to repair if I know they're going to get pushed out and then attacked. Okay, so we've got loads more stuff we can do on the economic front. That Maratha stack didn't materialise. The Russians have hunkered down. OK, 
Okay, now we can repair these buildings a bit further up. And you can keep punishing and drive east. You can attack Kronstadt. Because that will draw in... No, it won't draw in anyone. Okay, let's, let's attack them and I'll do it manually to try and minimise my losses. And then in that way, well, I can minimise my losses, reduce my uh, replenishment burden, and then continue to drive east. It's a lot of artillery. So I'm going to drive forward in a line. I'm not going to do what I normally do and push forward too aggressively. Might not even be able to do that. There's our Fusiliers. 25th Regiment of Foot Fusiliers. Okay. It looks like... They're going to let us push up. You two both engage that regiment of horse, you guys engage that regiment of line. Are you men going to charge us? You could well. There we go. The first shots are being fired. Let's hit their cavalry with mine. You go after their general to the rear. You guys go after that regiment there instead. There we go. Regiments of horse are always... They're not bad units. They're something to be... To be wary of. But it looks like. Obviously because we know they are... A depleted... Force. That... Uh, the centre's going to break pretty rapidly. Every loss is amplified by the fact they don't have many men to start off with. Yep, the Vignoni Strudzi. men are at the front. You guys all hit that artillery. Don't hit don't hit the uh, cavalry fight over here anymore. These men are taking the brunt of a lot of fire, so uh, credit to them. Same with the 20th, but they've also had enough. Okay, let's now just deploy that many men. These guys. Yeah. So this cavalry has been depleted a lot. Let's bring these men across to help out. Being engaged by the artillery.
The artillery is gone. As our men climb over the Russian defences to get into a good position. You guys hold firing. So the second light horse have suffered at the hands of the 15th. Friendly fire artillery, let's turn that off. Sort of a volley. The 36th got a chance to fire. Should have lost a few more than that. In reality. I know muskets were inaccurate, but... Holy moly. So Hussars will beat Regiment of Fort, Regiment of Horse. Well, that's not our general, that's our captain. The captain. Okay, I'm just to speed up time now, because... Uh, the Regiment of Horse is now finally starting to win, but we've got reinforcements over to help clear them out. Should be everyone. Oh, Obviously, there's a one last unit. Uh, let's take you guys and deploy you out like this. I don't know why the AI decides to do this. It just drops a unit right at the back and goes, that's a good idea. And yet... They only, they only ever use it when the entire army is destroyed. Huh. 31st route. Routed. I suppose they are, they are technically supposed to be elite. Or at least a special unit. There we go. So this force needs a bit of replenishment, and then they'll go on to lay siege to the city of St. Petersburg. Well, to be honest, they might get a general now. Nicholas Farquhar, son. Farquhar, Farquhar, Farquhar. Or it might just go straight on into them, because it's just Cossack infantry. Yeah, the turn will be a bit longer. Yep, the part. The part length will be a bit longer, but let's do it. Hopefully it's a bit of a... the terrain layout is a bit more simplistic and no. One unit's gonna go straight in. Another unit's gonna come in around from the left with heavy cavalry support. And the artillery is gonna hunker back and fire. So this force on the flank is going to be very important now because it is going to unseat them from their position. Wow, okay, they're actually going to start moving up. Okay, everyone run. Let's pick. Let's pick some new targets. touch and go but we are going to get into position I wish we could garrison the town hall because that would be pretty cool sadly we cannot no that's the church isn't it that's the town hall there it is 
see a guy with a musket perched up somewhere up here, firing. But yeah, this side is going to stay where they are. Once they've deployed, this flank is going to push around and clear the way. They're encouraged because the general is alive. Good. Dude, he's not dead yet, so we've got a chance. There we go. Pour fire into the Russians at point blank range. So I'm doing this by, hit by hitting or pressing down the N key. They are just marching up under the gun. First few troops, Russian troops have been pushed back. The 11th Regiment has a bit of a task. They form square, lest they get attacked by my devilish cavalry. Oh, that's a lot of men they just lost there. Let's bring these guys around here. They have militia, but they also have a dug-in unit of militia behind the line. Ah, oh, you... You fools! You're providing a tempting target for my gunners. So the 10th Regiment are also going to... Oh, God. Quick men, hold the square. They can't get into the square. But their musket balls can. Must be their officer. So, so much musketry. Okay, let's push two units around to the left. Two units forward. It's tricky with all these cavalry defences around. And there go the 23rd, 23rd and the 11th are being pushed up into their position. Not very efficient, but it's the only sort of engagement we can do. Not the hussars, the infantry. Okay, the troops behind the wall are finally engaging, so let's run around the flank to give them a bit of give these chaps a bit of support. get a lot of artillery firing to the rear to help support those guys. 23rd have come back. Shaken, confident, steady. Start engaging. And these guys fire straight into their backs. Come on, men. There we go, the militia have been pushed out of their defensive position. form more of a coherent line. They are upset, I understand that. Our 
one here. Actually routed in the end. They'll probably come back. There they go. You on the flank can't hit them. Push up. Let's deploy our hussars finally. Twenty-third taking a pummeling from the 11th. They've got plenty of ammunition left. There we go. Let's push up. All my artillery chase the militia around. There we go. Push up. The 31st are currently the only units hanging on in the town. It looks like the militia wants to chase down my cavalry, which is pretty standard, really. When the AI doesn't know what it wants to do, it just goes, eh, chase cavalry. Run! Run through the militia! Now try and run back, because they, they are Benny Hilling their way around. go. Now the 31st gets to unload on the 27th. Turn the cavalry around, charge it into the 27th because they'll have fired their last volley. Halt fire to allow them to reload. Being fired upon from a safe direction, they've got a lot of the target to aim for there. Okay, now you guys hold fire. Cavalry chase them down. Yeah, let's continue this a little bit. Get some more kills. Not strictly necessary. Because we know the uh, they will all they will all just be destroyed on the campaign map soon enough. Boom! A load of bowling pins. Down they go. But at least this it builds up a bit more um, experience for them. So hopefully they'll hold on to more of it in future battles. I mean, the unit of the, this unit of 38 won't hold on to it for very long because they're about to receive a whole bunch of new recruits. But there we go. St. Petersburg is ours. So that's our chief objective in Europe secured. I would like Moscow, but that would be very much a stretch target. What I'm really hoping the magic number is... 12,000 so I can build fortifications. That's not actually, yeah, like we can build a cannon foundry. Then the city is ours. The question is, do I then use this to make a temporary peace with Russia? Do I say, actually, I've got quite a good chunk here? Or do I keep going? I think I keep going, really. Lots of plantations built, new government buildings built, new roads built, but I have no money. Um, are you replenished? You are! Okay, I need to build a bunch of smaller ships to garrison my ports.
Now on you go. Any orders? Yeah, I need more naval capacity. That's what I need. So you're on your way to Georgia to help turn the region to a good Protestant place to live. Sweet, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Great Britain. Cheers everyone.